Well, thank you very much for the invitation and the introduction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was my first time here in Barcelona. I need to say that not, not only because uh, I'm in front of you, but because I mean it, and it was just marvelous. I had the chance yesterday to walk around for about six or seven hours, and I just left the architecture here. So I will come back. It was, it was my task to talk as a politician about federalism and how important federalism is. And it was my task to do that in common and specialized for the Federal Republic of Germany. And why are Germans mostly strong federalists? And let me start with some remarks about the European Union. The founders of the European Union had at least one thing in mind when they, when they started to build the unified Europe. And that was peace. After the horrifying World War II, the peoples of Europe long for peace, stabilization, and prosperity. And if only the European Union brought peace to the peoples of Europe, it was worth doing it. And so, Europe has been built on the rich heritage of its peoples. And for me, Europe will only have a good future if we respect the traditions and identities of its peoples. Therefore, we need a system where each people can live in its own tradition, respected by legal authority, and with a maximum of political power to choose the way for its own future. And that leads me to, to my statement. That's wrong. It's not my statement. He who does not appreciate man in his historical, language, and cultural identity injures the roots of his existence which are part of his inner dignity. So we need a political identity within the European Union, and we need cultural diversity to strengthen the European Union and to stabilize it for the future. Our ancestors have built Europe with the experiences of their own history. Let us now continue building Europe so that our descendants will still know their cultural roots. What kind of a system in Germany do we have to respect different cultural identities and how are our regions represented in the state? The Federal Republic of Germany shall be a democratic and social federal state. This is one of the key paragraphs of the German Constitution as it established the principles the state is based on. The mothers and fathers of the Constitution, even federalism, so important that they included this provision among the few elements that are not demandable in any circumstances. Federalism has long become a part of German's political culture. Often, the people of Germany refer to their country simply as the Bundesrepublik, the Federal Republic. This shows how central the concept of political decentralization has become for them. Germany has 16 federal states. Can you see that? Okay. Called Länder, and all states have substantial authority. By the way, this is the state of Bremen. The citizens of the states do not only elect their own state parliament, who then choose their own state governments, headed by veritable prime ministers, Importantly, these politicians will genuine political power. They are responsible for all affairs pertaining to culture, education, internal security, the media, local government, and regional taxation. In addition, the lender has a significant say in national affairs. The federal, I like those slides. The federal republic of Germany has a bicameral legislature. The members of the upper house are not elected on a national level. The federal council, or Bundesrat, as it is called, is more like the Senate in the United States, representing specific regions. In our case, the regional governments. In the legislative practice, the majority in the Bundesrat has the right to block all laws that directly or indirectly affect their interests of the regions. According to estimates, more than 50% of federal legislation 
is conditional on approval by the regional entities. Let me give you an example. When we had general elections on September 27, 2009, the um, Christian Democratic Union, the Conservatives, and the Free Democratic Party, the Liberals, my party, they won the election and they could build a new government. And they had the majority in the Bundestag. And um, they also had the majority in the Federal Council because most of the states had Christian liberal coalitions, as we call it. Now in May uh, this year, we had general elections in the state of, how can we go back? We had general elections in the state of Nordrhein-Westfalen. Nordrhein-Westfalen had a government, a, a Christian liberal government, and the Christian liberal coalition lost the election. <coughs> and so a new government will be built. Will be, actually, I don't know which one because the uh, results are so complicated that no one really knows what, what's going on now. But it will be a, a coalition led by the Social Democrats. That means. The Christian co Liberal Coalition on the federal level lost its majority in the federal, uh, in the federal um, 